Very good friends. Good morning. What do you want to hear? Today uh, you will meet partner countries. So what will be your main message? From and, uh, Paris especially. Yeah, yeah and this, in this situation, how do you see uh, Georgia's pass to NATO? Well, I think it's very much up to Georgia how much cooperation it wants with NATO. But we have been always supportive of Georgia becoming both member of NATO and the EU. That's one thing. Yesterday we were discussing a lot about Bucharest summit decisions back in 2008, and everyone was reminded that both Ukraine and Georgia has been promised NATO membership. Now the big question is what kind of political plan we design uh, to uh, fulfill this promise that has been made 14 years ago here in Bucharest. But the uh, main message to our partner countries will be we are ready to help you uh, to enhance your resilience, to help you with reforms, but of course a lot depends on you. About tailored made uh, assistance, can you tell us more? No. <laughs> That's why uh, it's tailored made. What, what do you have to offer to Moldova today? Look, I think that, and this is a very good question, I've just returned together with my Nordic Baltic colleagues from Kiev. We were discussing a lot about energy crisis that is caused by Russian strikes. But Moldova <clears throat> is equally affected because Moldova and, and Ukrainian energy systems are very interlinked. So, first of all, I do believe that uh, while we are helping Ukraine to cope with that energy situation, we also should not forget about Moldova. Uh, I do believe that it's very much up to Moldova, of course, uh, to decide how much cooperation it wants with NATO. I would be open and ready to support whatever they are demanding from the Alliance or from the European Union. You will discuss China today. You will discuss uh, China today. Sorry. Sorry? That's very much interlinked. Uh, to what you will discuss China today. Um, what uh, key takes will you take to the discussion? Well, I think that uh, we've already put in our strategic concept that was approved at NATO summit in Madrid that China is a security issue that affects the whole alliance. I do believe that we need to now understand how we are going to design our strategy, our engagement with China, how we are protecting our key interests, and also how we are responding to the current uh, policy of China in the Indo-Pacific region. So that's actually going to be the first political discussion after NATO uh, summit in Madrid. Uh, I think that uh, we have now a brand new strategic concept. Now we have to see how we are going to implement that. Thank you very much. I have to run. <laughs>